You're breaking. Don't put your Here. body weight on the table. I'm trying. Here. Uh, yeah. Not much I can do. Here, so you may have to sit at the entrance. Someone can close the door and sit in front of the door. Yeah, Sam. I'm cold. You, you, you. <laughs> well, we made it. It took how many hours to get here? Mm. What time did uh, we get here? Anybody have any sense of time? It was like four something. No, Five. it's 7.45 now. We probably got here at six. Uh, and we left at 9 a.m. Uh, <laughs> took us 27 hours to get to this island. Worth it. Incredible. And the kids were super excited. Were the kids like yes. all climbing into your tent and mm -hmm. asking what everything was? Yeah. Yes. They were like scratching on the side of the tent. Uh, me and Gary were talking the other day that I, th I think it's funny that, you know, the Bible is beautiful in the sense that it's for every situation and it can be used in a million different ways. And that's how it's incredible about it. But from the majority of the Christians that we know, um, every story in the Bible will be a metaphor. <coughs> But th we live a really exciting life that it's a playbook that we literally like are going to go up to pagan mountains and see like glory come and we're going to see yeah. persecution. Yeah. We're going to see these unknown people have never heard the gospel. Yeah. So and even when we're back in the States, you know, it's, it's a metaphor for, you know, job transition and peace in my family or whatever. But we get to read about what Paul does and what Elijah does and all that. And we're going to these depths of the earth that nobody's been to. And it's, we're looking to him and we're like, well, this is what he did. So yeah. it's yeah. just such a unique thing. Yeah. It brings scripture to life in a way that, um, like you're saying, it's not just like, you know, I was reading out of Acts the other day and, I, and really through the New Testament and reading about Jesus when he was going from town to town and Peter and Paul and just all these disciples that were going and you know scripture says that like signs and wonders followed them and it's so interesting because we like you were saying we have the opportunity to go and to not just like live these moments like that we experience but to literally, like you're saying, like a playbook of like, we get to feel what the disciples felt <laughs> when they were going from city to city, from town to town, and people were being healed, set free, and delivered. And I'll tell you, my first trip to La Canada, it changed my life forever. <clears throat> I've, I've, there's no doubt about it. And, um, and a lot of it was because I'm like, this is gospel, <laughs> you know? Like this apostolic moment where I mean, God's just doing stuff. And, 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 you know, Kyle, when we were up there, he's like, we don't even have like a full set, you know, worship and all that props. stuff, but yeah. Yeah. props. We were just I laying think, hands on people. Him. <laughs> That's right. it. Yeah. For nine hours straight, yeah, we were just like, him. Lord, touch him, you know? Yeah. And to hear those stories, it was great. Yeah, Acts 10, 38, keeps rolling around in my spirit. Um, it says how God anointed Jesus. Mm -hmm. of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and the power. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. God was with him. Mm. You know, and that, and that kind of sums it up. We're going to go about, we're going to do good, and we're going to heal all. Yeah. I mean, not just some, all. When he sent him, he said, I'm going to send you, and I want you to raise the dead, I want you to heal the sick, I want you to cast out devils, and I want you to preach and teach my gospel everywhere you go in mm. every town every hamlet and you know pastor mendoza when i saw him in ecuador that shifted me i'm like you know we're making this way too hard we yeah. just mm -hmm. need to trust the greater one mm -hmm. on the inside of us it's it's no longer us anyway yeah. Yeah. When, when you're born again you're you're, you're living a dead man's life mm -hmm. 